everybody, welcome back to episode 8 of 7 Days to Die. Now last night we had the Horde Night, which, yeah, it was very uneventful, I'm not gonna lie, it was uh, pretty shit. The Horde did not do really anything, like it just showed up. That was about, like the Horde rolled up and just decided, nope, I'm not a threat, so don't bother me. Now, I'm just looking through right now to see if we can take any, how much we can grab with us. I'm probably going to make another trip back here, if anything. So, that do be looking like what's going to look like. So, Alright, so we're going to take a trip out of here then, which is further down, isn't it, this door? Yes, okay. I'm going to leave it open. We still have that red mist. Or, I think it's just foggy out right now, and I think it's, it's still, yeah, it's going away now, so. Now, we're back to normal. But we're gonna make a run home, drop off some of this shit, and then we're gonna make... Today's gonna be basically like taking all of our loot and bringing it back home. Because we still have some loot back from the corner place to get those dumpsters. So I'm only gonna bring like the bare essentials that we need, and we're gonna go up there. I also saw when I was doing some stuff yesterday, there's a building down this road that I want to check out at some point as well. So maybe... On our way back to the school, we'll cut through there. So I will probably speed this up to get us home, empty the drop, drop off our loot, and then we will go from there. So see you guys when we get there. So I'm probably gonna loot that building, and then we'll go back and pick up what we can at the school. So today's gonna be basically just running back and forth. We're probably not gonna get a ton of looting done. Which is why I want to get this building in as well. Oh, hello, dear. I mean, if you go a little further that way into the red, the red zone, that would be appreciated. I don't actually know. He died right there. This is right at the edge of the red zone. Fuck. Come on, dear, really? Because I know the second I step in there, I'm going to take a ton of damage, so it's not worth it. I want to get the deer, but at the same point, it's not worth me putting my life on the line for. Like, we're not going to get as much meat to warrant it. Had I seen the deer ahead of time, I would have tried to crouch and shoot him, but... Damn, hindsight being 2020. Alright, so this is the building we saw in the last video. We saw the backside of it from the football field. I don't think... We haven't been over here, because this area was completely uh, shrouded up on the map. Hey, game, let me crouch so I can go stealthy if I need to. So I want to see what's in this place. So we'll see what we've got rolling through here. Is this door open? It's locked. Alright, let's start popping it then. So we got somebody at least inside. Alright, let's just try to pop this door a little bit more then. So we can't lure you guys around this way. Whatever corners you're hiding. So I'd rather not fight in such a confined space like that. Like, I'm trying to loot a little bit here while I can, just like this small stuff here near the front. Or shock, or hunting rifle or shotgun stuff? Hunting rifle stuff, nice. Can we actually craft a hunting rifle? We can, okay. It's like, oh, I gotta grab those parts for the hunting rifle that are back at the other place. The dumpsters. Wait a second. Alright, I know we have other cooking pots. I can just scrap that for the iron right now. I'm assuming there's an upper level I'm gonna have to deal with at some point. Okay, you're locked. I don't see a way to get to the upper level. Or, it's probably cheaper here. Yeah, it's 200 blocks to get to the frames, which I've actually thought of a trick to get through this. It works. It doesn't work. Alright, 
there are a fair amount of zombies in here. I am a little nervous. Somebody is making some noise. I am not wanting to do that. I'm assuming they're up. I mean, I'm sensitive. I can hear them all stumbling around. Alright, I see a wall safe here, which we can actually knock out the kind of cheap way. Well, the cheaper way, anyway, which is just breaking all the blocks connecting to it. We did this before when we did the... There was one at, I think, the police station we did like this. Because I thought originally you had to just break the block that it's sitting in. No, you gotta break every block that it's touching. I think you used to do, like, the horizontals and all that. Like, the four sides of the touching block. Oh. oh, I broke it. Alright. Oh, this is one beefy wall, but the wall is still cheaper if I'm trying to break it in the safe, so. I'm trying to get through that, make it so I am not detected. Alright, I'm stepping out. I'm not dealing with this shit right now. I'm hearing a massive clusterfuck of them. I'm guessing... Oh, up on the roof. Okay. I didn't even think about a roof being on this place. If I'm being above 50 with you guys, I was not expecting a roof on this place. Okay, seriously? Back up, guys. I saw I got infected, so I'm gonna take these antibiotics, and I'm stunned. Alright, hang on. Keep playing games. Now, let me say I'm immune to further infections, but yet I literally took that the last time I got infected. Or I took honey last time, so maybe the antibiotics actually prevent infection. Let me just reload. I'm not gonna bother wasting the bullets at this point. Like, it's a crawler. It's one and a half doofuses here. I should have guessed there was a roof, but I didn't. I guess I just didn't expect there to be one on this place. I'm guessing I thought there would be more of a second floor than anything else, but that is interesting to say the least. Alright, so we got a crawler, or a dead corpse, alright. We break up these bodies. I'm gonna wait until they, once they turn into this phase, then you can break them up in one hit. Or at least with one hit of the, the fire axe here, so. It just makes it easier. I can jump up a few. Jump down. Oh, hello, crawler. Oh, my sprained leg is gone. <laughs> Bye, crawler. Ooh, that neck. Yikes. I hate to see it. I, mean, I like to see it because I mean, it's not my neck breaking like that, but. I feel a little bad for that dude. And by a little bad, I mean. not really that bad. Alright, so we got some stuff we can toss into this dumpster for right now. Just trying to get every. I mean, if I get all of our loot kind of localized, that's where I want it to be. I'm gonna toss this rotten flesh in there. And I'll drop the lead as well. Okay, so let's get back into here. Continue to pop apart the safe as we need to. Okay. 
Okay, so I just gotta break that block on the side of it here. I should be able to just break this block here and we should just get the safe. So I'll probably cut to when we get the safe opened up then and see what we're getting out of it. Yes, there we go. Finally, all that for pistol parts, which are actually very high level pistol parts, all things considered. Okay, holy shit, that was a lot of effort to get through that. Those are very high level pistol parts, so that just gives our pistol a better durability rating. Jeez, that was effort. Alright, let me make sure I've got this whole place top to bottom looted. I know I looted the roof already. Did I get this? Not. Nice. Alright, I don't know. Oh, I didn't get these two then. Okay. Shit. Not as shit. Okay. So then it's empty. Let me check the mailbox. Repair. Okay. Let me I'll turn the light off because I don't really need it in the middle of the day. Okay. All of our loot is in here. I should crouch down to see what we're getting. I'm only going to take like the majorly important things. I'm not going to go for every little thing. Really, I can actually just dump all of the excess into Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, cactus. Not a fan of you. So let me actually do another painkiller, <laughs> so I can get some health back. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through our chests and try to grab as much of the essential stuff as we can. I still have to get the car the carport in here dealt with as well, so i got to get all this figured out. I'll probably pop open, but I'll probably do what I did before and just break open some of the fences and do that. But when we get back home, I'm also probably going to try to get a little area dug out for our uh, aloe seeds. We're going to need to plant some of that soon. So that we can start moving on an actual farm. So let's get to here. Let's grab this loot. This chest. There are a lot of chests we need to loot. Alright, oh, forgot. I put the pistol was unloaded because I actually assembled it. Okay. I'm gonna close this door at least. I think. I got a lot of empties, so I can probably just fill those up. Honestly, if I feel like I take the empties out of this pit, it's gonna fill up a lot of them. So I might as well. Let's see, how much of this pit do I take out with these 93 empties? Not that much, really. Did I even put a dent in it? Wow. That is impressive. That holds a lot of water and shit. So I can definitely say I recommend doing that to figure that shit out. Oh, I need to get the. So I can make another thing of duct tape. And then hunting rifle parts, and the barrel. Um, I know you do best when you put this in for a first aid kit. Um, alright, actually I can get another spot opened up when I make some duct tape here. So I'll take that barrel, and then we'll go over to the chest at, we'll go over to the dumpster at the other place, at that little stop and shop there, whatever the hell it was. I'm just gonna close one door this time just to make it so I can get it out easier. And then we're gonna run to that chest, get some loot, and we're gonna make it work. Nice, thank you, Mo. Did I ever loot this mailbox? I seriously never looted my own mailbox. Sledgehammer. Hello. I could use that. An iron sledgehammer would be very nice. That's just a very strong weapon. All right, so let me do our usual of dumping loot into here first. Turn the part. 
Which I might actually be able to build a hunting rifle. I don't think I have all the parts for it here, though. I got all the parts kind of scattered around. Alright, bottled water. It'll take 13 minutes to do all of them, so let's just do... Cover me, I'm reloading! Does that. And I actually grab some of the brass, too. And I'll take these chairs. I'm gonna put the chairs in the forge to get this moving. I'm gonna get the iron, I'm get the brass. Five chairs. Actually, let's just do. Well, let's just do a good amount of these chairs here to get this rolling. So do this, turn this on, and I'll get a bunch of forged iron going. Okay, we don't need forty three. We'll do like. Let's drop this down to like twenty pieces. Put these chairs. Here. Oh, these chairs are different. Okay, that's gonna be annoying. So let's do that. And I'll eat one more thing of chicken soup. I'm not hungry. Rip. Alright, painkillers. So pop some more painkillers. Ooh, hello, dear. How are you? How do I do, my fellow life form? Come on, put your head up. One shot, one kill. Nice. There we go. Give you a one tap on his ass. You love to see that. So what I'll do is I'll take the meat and I'll put it. I'm gonna try to run with the meat for now. I actually could get the actually the hunting rifle would make a lot of this so easy. I think I'm gonna push ahead to the next that area that has the. Uh, the dumpsters and shit that have our gun parts in it, like, down at this corner area here. And I can just follow this road to get there. So I think I'm gonna do that, because I, I would really rather have... As much as I love this pistol, the hunting rifle is just so much better at hunting. Because you can get some good range with the hunting rifle. Because then you can just stand there and shoot the deer and probably just one-tap them, but... I'd rather get a little bit better with what I've got, so and I know I have the parts to make the gun down here, so I might as well. Only issue is going to be zombies will want to fight me now that I have meat. Since they see meat, options are not. Well, they see me carrying meat as higher priority eating target. Oh, we didn't loot these? Oh, I haven't been down this way, so that would explain why I haven't looted it. Okay. I thought I came through here, though, and I found an animal or something a while back. God, there are zombies popping up all over the place. Loot us. I know we also have a ton of skill points we can use, so that is also something I'll have to keep in mind. I think we had like 25 or something after the Horde Knight, something ridiculous. So, pretty sure we've been through here. No, we haven't. So there's gonna be a few crawlers over here. I see one already around the other side of that car. One in the grass. There's always like two or three crawlers. Ooh, that's a nail gun battery. Which is actually kind of funny, but... Detected, so that's good. Get this backpack looted. Club. Nice. Don't need you. And I'll tell you right now, those gun parts are probably not going to be good for anything. 
Ooh, some ammunition, though. That is nice. Oh, yeah, we have a ton of fucking shit to work with. Damn. Honey and water. Nice. We're getting, like, honestly, we are getting a good amount of shit. Like, real talk, we are doing pretty nice. What do you get? Yeah, you go for the nail gun. Okay. But I don't think we have any other nail gun parts. So, bit of a rip. Oof. Say goodbye to level 20. You are not needed anymore, buddy. Lead, I will always appreciate the lead. Because I think you need the lead to make certain ammo types later on. I think the rocket launcher needs it. Could be wrong. Ooh, a meat stew. Eat that, and you probably get another wellness point, right? Yeah. Nice. Love that. Right, make sure we loot everything we can get. Magnum cylinder, alrighty. Um, what don't we need? Probably make this glue into a roll of duct tape. Which I don't even know if we're going to have room for now that I think about it, but... We have a lot of pipe. Actually, I'm not going to need these arrows. really don't need them. And the duct tape literally just took that spot anyway, so rip. Can of miso. Can't drink it. Can't use it. Damn it. I'll just top up my water then. The magnum cylinder is nice. Paper. Right. Probably should go through and actually make sure what I'm taking is what I'm worth holding on to. Why do, why do I have ninety three things of murky water? Did I start the fu the full, the fucking campfire and not actually cook? I need our hang on, I need our gun parts. Like I need to get this hunting rifle so I can have a decent weapon. I'm gonna store a decent amount of our shit. Like I cannot believe I did this again. How many times am I gonna fucking do this? I'm sure there's probably a lot of you that just watch me turn on the fire and not actually cook anything. Hello, little pig. How are you today? Where'd you go? On the side of the car, I think? Yeah, there he is. Okay. I'm just going to run up on this pig right now because I am not in the mood to care. Thank you, pig. Making my life extremely easy. Now, I don't remember where the dumpsters were. I think the dumpster back here. Oh no, the dumpster's over there. Okay. Alright, I'll take this pipe. I'm not gonna take any stuff. Empty, I'll take. We'll scrap the lead trophy. I'm pretty sure it's the dumpster behind that building. Yeah, that's the building. Now I remember. It's this building. Dig the animal fat and the hide. We still gotta loot some of this place too. Like there's a bunch like these three buildings, I don't think we really looted. Oh hello baby Julia. How are you doing? Dead? Darn. Try not to lose your head this time, alright? <laughs> ourselves a hunting rifle and then for day nine we will have a hunting rifle home sweet home i would love to be able to get home in this house and not have to worry about shit pretty sure the hunting the barrel was in here yep nice now we got ourselves a nice shiny new gun it's not the best durability but you know what it's a gun Hunting rifle. And it may not be the best because it doesn't have a scope on it or nothing. Which I know there is an actual sniper rifle that has a scope in this game. 
that also uses the 762 rounds, but realistically, we don't need this bow anymore. So I'm going to put the meat upstairs, and I think what I'm going to do is, I'm probably, I know I've been wrapping up these videos kind of early, to say a little bit, just to make sure everything stays on par for the course where we're supposed to be going. So I don't, so I mean, I'm not a big fan of ending these early, but I'd rather end it early and make sure you guys get everything you're getting out of these videos than just kind of, eh. So, I'm going to wrap this one up here, guys. Thank you for all the support you've shown. If you've shown, like, if you guys are watching the series from beginning to finish here, it really does mean a lot. I know some of you guys are probably pumped to see Seven Days to Die Back because I'm happy to be playing it again. So, next episode, we'll probably do a little more, like, we're not going to do as much of going around and just grabbing our shit. But we've got five, we got six days until the next, or five days from tomorrow until the next board. So... We'll see how it goes. I'll probably end up using the school again just because the place did some good fucking work. So there's no reason not to. I might just put that spike down in front of the doorway though to make it so the zombies... Because they broke those doors down pretty quickly before. And I know next door is going to be a lot more intense to say the least because it's day 14, not just day 7. But if you guys want to do the YouTube stuff down below, you can... So, getting ready for that. Next episode, I'll probably try to do a little more of actual looting. Like, I might actually push down to that town like I wanted to a few episodes back and do that. So, we'll go from there. But, if you want to go down to the description, if you want to follow the Twitch channel, because I am streaming on there a fair amount, at least. So, we're probably, I mean, by the time you guys are seeing this, we're probably still playing, like, my girlfriend and I are probably still playing through Soul Silver. And I'm also probably moving on to either a way out, or I might still be doing DX, depending on how those extra, those last two dungeons went. But I'm getting about here, guys, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. So, see ya.